Thank you for joining me live. It's an exciting day because DAV uh, has wrapped up another 5K uh, and it's time to celebrate an incredibly successful year. This year, for the first time ever, we did an in-person and a virtual event. Last year, you'll remember, because of the pandemic, we had to do everything virtually. That means that uh, thousands of uh, men, women, children across the country, across the world, ran, walked, rolled, ride uh, to, to all to, to raise critical funds uh, for disabled veterans and their families and to support DAV and all of our services. Uh, so again, we had a first time ever in person and virtual event. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, we were at the banks last Saturday. I was incredibly energetic and, and just, you know, just something about being back together again that, uh, it was amazing. It really was. And it was an honor to be there and to take part in that 5K. Um, but we're here, we're here to talk about all of you who have uh, walked, rolled, ran, ride. I'm going to do that in a different order every time because I always mess that up a little bit. But uh, to support DAV uh, across the country uh, as part of the virtual 5K, which wraps up today. So thank you so much uh, to those who, who took part in this event, amazing event, this virtual event uh, from Alaska to Africa. We had supporters uh, who's, who are out there supporting our mission. So uh, we actually had a, a, I have some totals here for you today. We had 18, more than 1,800, 1,867 virtual participants, more than 1,500 who ran in person in Cincinnati. So more than 3,300 total participants, all out there raising critical funds for DAV uh, and our mission. Uh, we were actually able to raise um, a total of 100, well, more than $130,000 uh, for our mission. So thank you so much. That doesn't include, even include uh, our corporate partners like Humana, uh, who actually supported this event as well. So everything that you have done, again, has helped DAB provide those no-cost services to more than a million veterans and their family members each and every year. And of course, last year it was virtual only, as I said before, uh, and we added a photo contest to encourage you to share your pictures of uh, competing in the 5K so that we could continue that, that spirit of community, even though we weren't together. And of course, there are prizes for the winners of this contest, uh, including gift cards and DAV 5K gear. And so uh, that's why we're here today. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I would like to share some of the winners of our DAV 5K photo contest. Uh, first is in the category for most patriotic, most patriotic. We have Michon Harrison of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, Michon is an Army veteran and a DAV member. Uh, took this photograph in front uh, of a uh, veterans memorial uh, near her hometown. And uh, congratulations to Michon uh, for winning the most patriotic this year. Uh, our next category is best costume. Best costume is Coral Stredwick Osborne and her dog Shadow. Uh, and she's a Marine veteran, and that photo was taken uh, in Bourne, Texas. That, that is a, uh, not quite what I think of when I think of a Texas getup, but that is a fantastic costume. It's an award-winning costume. Congratulations uh, to Coral and, of course, to Shadow uh, for, for, winning that, uh, for winning the Best Costume Award. Uh, next would be the Most Unique Landmark Course, and that goes to Alvin and Tamara Kegler. Uh, Alvin is in the Navy, and of course, this photograph taken in front of that iconic statue in San Diego Harbor. That's the USS Midway in the background, uh, and uh, that's the, the photo of, or I'm sorry, that's a statue that's made from that famous photograph of the sailor kissing um, uh, the young lady in Times Square on VJ Day. Everyone was celebrating the end of World War II, uh, and uh, that sailor and that uh, I think she was a, a, a dental school student, uh, ran into one another and were so happy that they decided to share a kiss, complete strangers. Uh, so great, great photograph. Thank you so much, Alvin and Tamara, and congratulations on that best unique landmark course photograph win. Uh, and we also have the best finish line. Best finish line is Brad Lambert and his dog Paisley. Uh, from Spring Hill, Tennessee. I, I'm starting to see a pattern here. If you're, uh, if you bring a dog, chances are you might win. I mean, everyone loves dogs. Uh, that's the, uh, I'm sorry, David is a Army veteran. He's a DAV member. Uh, and of course, I'm not sure if Paisley actually ran the race. Paisley's wearing the medal there, but I'm going to assume Paisley ran that race uh, and, and earned that medal. Uh, but regardless, congratulations uh, to David and to Paisley as well. Uh, and that's the end of our official 
uh, photographs, but we do have uh, one more honorable mention, uh, and that is for Laura Lewis. Laura Lewis is an Army veteran of Pleasant Hill, California, and her horse, Emmy. So Emmy and Laura, uh, you know, you can walk, roll, walk, ride, roll, and run. Um, so that, I think that counts as a ride. Uh, that's, she's got her friend, Buna, who is a, a Army veteran, and Corey, who's an Air Force veteran, veteran helping them out. They took their horse through the Starbucks drive through I'm going to assume that that horse got something in the pumpkin spice family, and I'm going to guess it was oat milk. If uh, if it's a horse, I was ordering that from Starbucks, but that's that would be all of my my horse jokes today. I'm a dad, so I'm allowed to make the occasional dad joke. Uh, but congratulations uh, to Laura and to Emmy on that uh, on that honorable mention. Thank you so much uh, for all your submissions. Thank you to everyone for all your submissions. Uh, we had we had hundreds of them. Uh, we loved seeing your photographs from across the country. Again, incredibly important to to help create that that sense of community. And uh, you guys did it again this year. An incredibly successful DAB uh, 5K in person and virtually. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you again next year.